See this? This is my boomstick! Hi everyone, Boomstick here from Renegade Racing. Today we're looking at the BXR Bailey Blade GT1 special event. And uh, it is stage two that's now open. So we'll take a look at the conditions now. Um, finishing the race will get you a red event pack. You'll get credits for doing 10 seconds of airtime, 10 tokens for doing three knockdowns, and then beating a race time of 126 seconds gets you a yellow event pack and a blueprint for beating 124 seconds. It is a free try in the gold Bailey Blade GT1. So this should be a lot of fun and quite a quick race. Um, I haven't done it yet, so I'll just try and do my best in this initial run. And uh, if we um, if we uh, make any mistakes, I'll go through a second run and try and refine it for you. All right, now I've heard a little bit about this airdrop. I haven't actually watched any videos, but I do understand that you do get dropped from this blimp. And there's the blimp. Uh, so let's have a go now. I imagine. Let's have a look here at the lineup. I'm thinking that maybe we have to land on some people here at the start. Um, I'll just see if I can do a 360 and yeah, I was not quite there so I probably need to um, use the nitro to get a bit further down. So we'll grab that bottle and yeah, there's the turn I've kind of messed up. Anyway, we'll keep going with it. We'll see if we can finish off the conditions in this run. Um, though I'll probably do a second run. So off this section here, we'll just bounce and then just pick up this bottle. Getting over on the right hand side, hopefully I can land on someone. Not quite, but we did get a knock down there. Um, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more knockdowns. Picking up that bottle, we're just gonna drift and bounce off the wall and head over to this barrel here. I'm gonna hold drift and try and trigger a shockwave, bouncing off the walls there, back into imperfect, build up speed, and we're just drifting here a little bit, just see if we can get some of these guys to turn up, and whoa, the frame rate dropped significantly there. I think I got a few knockdowns, so hopefully we've got enough, and we'll just keep going here and imperfect. Just watch the left-hand side there, you can misjudge that jump quite easily. All right, we're gonna go through the chicane very gently there and just bouncing off the walls. So we'll go off this barrel roll and wow, that's a big jump there. Hitting the shockwave, we're at 86%, just checking. And uh, we're here at the end, I hitting the wall there, not too cleanly, um, and we'll shockwave off the barrel roll. So a bit of an interesting thing. I did get the time. Let's see if I got all the conditions. And we did get the airtime and the knockdown. So, yep, that's, so that's basically it. We've done it all in one go, which is kind of cool. Um, but I tell you what, I want to have another go just to be a little bit cleaner with the run. Now, I did bounce off the walls there. I'll try and now that I've done the course once, I'll try and do it a little bit cleaner for you people. Um, obviously, I haven't been playing the New York um, yet, so I am sort of uh, misering this course. Um, all right. I uh, got some TC there, plenty of TC in my account. All right, um, yeah, let's go straight through and we'll get on to a second run. I'm just looking at the stats there, 449.5. This car um, feels very strange. It's kind of, feels like it's got a lot of power um, behind it. It's kind of like an SLR. Um, it's kind of how it feels anyway. All right, so I'm gonna trigger the Nitro here at the start this time and see if we can get it. So. There we go, landing on it. I've done the three knockdowns already. So we're just gonna drift and then build up for our shockwave. Drifting earlier than I did before and we're getting more knockdowns here into shockwave. We're gonna start a little bit of a drift. We wanna head down that middle and we've got another knockdown. So it does look like the knockdowns are quite easy. You probably might not need to get them all at the start there. Um, okay, we're gonna go off this section here seeing as I've got the knockdowns. We just wanna go as fast as we can. And I'm just gonna hug the inside here and just see if we can uh, Oh, bouncing off the walls. We're going to shockwave off this one and we'll see if we can handle this turn. And bouncing off the walls. Lots of wall riding. So I can imagine that this course you could use a lot of wall riding. We're going to bounce off the wall again. Lots of AI there bashing me forward, which is kind of cool. It's going to help with the time. And we'll do shockwave here. And you can see you just you really need to judge that turn. Um, uh, uh, sorry, the landing there just so you can get the turn off. Probably landing on the right side might be a little bit better go off this barrel here um, obviously I'm feeling a little bit more confident in this run and uh, just drifting around this side I'm probably hugging it a little bit too much there and yeah you could probably still improve that turn I think if you are on the left side of the start and then go through the middle of that you can probably go through the hypotenuse of that turn all right um, okay 
178.8, that's a much better time. And we did get all the conditions. So there you go, everyone. Um, hopefully that's going to help you. Um, this event's been a hell of a lot of fun so far. I know a lot of people are confused by the multiplayer. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing a video explaining that. I might do that. We'll see if Ace is keen to do one with me. Um, maybe we'll do it. Um, but uh, yeah, you, you, if you're looking to check your ranking um, uh, because you know you can't see the, the point loss in that, um, a good thing to do is you can just check the leaderboards in between races um, and that should give you some idea of the points that you're getting each round. All right, everyone, uh, good luck with the SE. If you've got any questions, put it up in the comments. Otherwise, you can give me a like and subscribe up there. All right, take care, everyone. Bye for now.